Hey guys, thanks for joining me. It's Friday. I just took my injection uh, about 30 minutes ago. I had Pilates this morning, so I also did my Pilates and I'm back home sitting in front of my fireplace. I wanted to jump on here and do this video because we're gonna be gone this weekend and I wasn't sure when I would get to it. And I have a few things that I want to talk about. So, um, first of all, let's get the numbers out of the way. That's what we always wanna know. So I'm still on the 5.0. Um, my name is Lori, in case you're new here. Welcome, we have a lot of new subscribers. I am blown away that there are um, getting close to 100. I'm really, I'm just blown away. So thank you, thank you so much. Um, but I am still on the 5.0. My doctor is calling out the 7.5. So she gave me the option at the appointment last week to move up. I had decided not to. However, I've kind of been noticing this week especially that the 5.0 appetite suppression is not quite as good as it used to be. So I'm assuming that I am acclimating whatever to the medication and I really I went back and forth it was kind of a struggle but if I stayed on the five it would be um, it would be the fourth month or the fourth set of four pens because I've already gone through two sets of four pens. I have one more set of four pens in the refrigerator and then the other the new prescription would be another set. So so I'm going to I'm I'm going to I'm going to do the 7.5. I'm just going to do it and see what happens. Um so I still want to hear where you guys are and how your journey's going. So please please leave comments. I love the comments. Um, I try to get back to you just as quickly as I can. Um, but um, anyway, the scale did move this week. I am down 1.6 pounds. So yay, it's still moving. Um, I feel like it really, I don't know that it's really slowed down any, um, but I do feel hungrier sooner. So I take my injections on Friday. Usually, for sure by Wednesday, sometimes even Tuesday, I'm getting hungrier. Wednesday especially, by dinner time, I'm having hunger pains. I wasn't doing that a month ago or even a few weeks ago. Um, and then by Thursday, like yesterday, I really was having hunger pains. Now, I don't think that's bad. I don't think that's a bad thing. I think that, you know, we're gonna have hunger pains when we come off of this medication. And we're going to have to know how to handle that, that we don't always have to eat right then when we have hunger pains or whatever. So I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing, but I do want to get closer to my goal. And so I want this medication to keep working. And if I'm going to keep taking it, I don't want to, I don't want too much of a struggle, um, with my appetite. So, um, that's kind of why I decided to go to 7.5. So uh, one of the things that I wanted to talk about is I've been seeing a lot of people on some of the groups, um, like on Facebook especially, where they're talking about um, all of these things that they're doing now to lose weight, but I wonder, are those things that they're doing sustainable? Like one lady was talking about that she wasn't gonna drink her coffee in the mornings now. And I said, why are you stopping coffee? And she said, because of all the things I put in it. Well, okay, that's probably a good thing in some ways because maybe you need to alter what you're putting in it. Like I suggested, get some skinny syrups. I love the skinny syrups. I think they're by Jordan, I believe. Um, I have like a salted caramel, I have a mocha, and I have a vanilla, and when I make my coffee, that's what I use. So, you know, they're little or no calories. Um, I think they're really good. I know that Starbucks uses that exact same uh, vanilla. I wish they would get the other 
um, flavors because I like the mocha. But anyway, get something that, that does work, but don't stop your coffee because I was asking her, is that sustainable? Like after you lose the weight, aren't you gonna go back to drinking coffee? I would think that you would. And so I really think it's important that we don't totally alter um, everything that we're doing just to lose the weight because of what's gonna happen if we go back to those things later. So I think we need to retrain what we're doing, how we're doing it, how much of it we're doing, what, whatever it is. I think that we just need to retrain our minds. At least that's my thought. What's your thought on that? But I just feel like if, if she's really, you know, a coffee drinker, then isn't she really going to miss that coffee? Like, after a few days or a week or two. I mean, she's really going to be craving that. And and it could become kind of a downfall for her, you know, like maybe one day she's just like, oh, you know, I'm just going to go ahead and do it. And she does it the way that she always did it. And then there's all these calories. And then she just fall, kind of falls off the wagon, so to speak, and, and just continues to do it that way. And, um, you know, maybe sees a stall or a little bit of weight gain or, you know, whatever. So I don't know. I just feel like, you know, there's some things that, that, you know, like I stopped soda over 10 years ago. I'm not going to go back to soda. That's, that's a done deal for me. But, you know, like, like pizza, I kind of like pizza occasionally. I'm not a huge pizza person, but I do enjoy it from time to time. So I'm still going to enjoy it in moderation. I'm not going to completely deprive myself of that or something else that really I want. So, I mean, don't you feel kind of the same way? Um, let me know in the comments how you're dealing with this because I just really don't think that we can do unsustainable changes because I just think it's going to bite us later, honestly. Um, but anyway, how is everything else going? Um, I'm really basically not having any side effects at this point at all, which is great. Um, I don't know what the 7.5 will bring. I guess we'll find out. I can't get it filled until November the 8th. So I'll be on the 5 for the next, um, what, week, um, week, week or two, something like that. So, um, that's fine. I, you know, I'm not, I'm not too worried about that, but I did just want to jump on here and kind of, um, give you a little bit of detail of what's going on. There really hasn't been too much that's happened this week. Um, I did have a couple of days where I kind of went up like a half a pound or 0.7 pounds. Uh, I'm back down this morning. So my total weight loss was the 1.6. Um, but um, other than that, yeah, I mean, I think everything's going well. Uh, I hope that the 7.5 prescription that she calls in doesn't jack something up in the whole, you know, scheme of using the coupon. I guess we'll see. Time will tell. Um, but um, I hope you guys have a great weekend. We are headed to Kansas City this weekend. Um, to uh, my brother-in-law and sister-in-laws. They are having a fall party. We're having a mystery dinner tomorrow. And I can't wait to see what that's gonna be like. We have six great nieces and nephews and they are so much fun, so much fun. I love being with them. And so we're really looking forward to spending um, all day Saturday and spending the night and seeing them, you know, part of the day on Sunday before we come back to St. Louis. So. I hope you guys have a great weekend, and I look forward to seeing you soon. I'm sure I will touch base before next Friday's video. So hang tight, hang in there, keep on working what you're working, um, and I wish you all the best. See you later. Bye.